first day I met my husband. Kimberly Williams remembers falling quickly for Eric Josh Williams. It was 2016. They were both living in Illinois when they met. It was nonstop after that. We were inseparable. As their relationship grew, so did their dream of a life together. We came down here to Louisiana for a cruise one time and um, we fell in love with Louisiana and decided to move here. He proposed to me here and we got married here, and this is where we were happy. This was our happy place. They moved to Holden and got new jobs. He did get on doing HVAC with very, very nice man, Joe Newby, and um, they worked really, really hard together. They all enjoyed being out on the water. So Monday after Thanksgiving weekend in 2021, um, Josh had called me at work and, and told me that Joe needed some help with running a boat. Josh and Joe launched the boat at Pools Bluff near Bogalusa around 3 p.m. They had never been to this launch before. Neither had Joe or Josh. Um, they were just running a boat. They were just testing it out. They were both experienced boaters, so she wasn't worried until Josh never called. I got out of work at 515 and he never not answers my call. A search for the men began. The Washington Paris Sheriff's Office and Wildlife and Fisheries had called me. Mark Mishu is a retired Slidell police officer and founder of Southeast Louisiana Underwater Search and Recovery. He uses underwater sonar technology to search for missing people. Of course, I've worked several searches on the sills and the low head dams. Sills and low head dams are concrete walls that maintain water levels on rivers. There's one here at Pools Bluff. It's hard to spot unless you know it's there. You know, it's one of those things that, oh, everybody knows about that until somebody doesn't. The water is higher in this video, but if the river is low, the water level drops several feet at the dam, earning it the nickname drowning machine. As the water hits, it does a washing machine kind of movement. I was just like, why is this here? The low head dams and sills in the Pearl River were completed by the Army Corps of Engineers in 1956 for commercial navigation. That was almost almost 70 years ago when these sills were built. Since that time, the commercial industry does not use the, the waterway as much, but it is a draw. It's a high use area by recreational fishermen and boaters alike. Corporal Michael Marquez says the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries has responded to several accidents due to low head dams on the Pearl River at Pools Bluff and Bogachita. According to the National Weather Service, between 2018 and 2022, 149 people died nationally due to incidents caused by low head dams. Even a life jacket may not keep you afloat enough, long enough to actually make it through. For years, many have called for the removal of the dams, but that would literally take an act of Congress since they're under the control of the Army Corps of Engineers. We've got to do something if they're not going to maintain that system. Congress officially deauthorized the project in 2016, meaning there's no funding dedicated to maintaining the structures. And now State Representative Melinda White, who grew up on the river, wants to figure out whether the dams should be removed and what impact that would have. Last year, the state put up $1 million for a hydrology study that's being split between Washington and St. Tammany parishes. Next month, the St. Tammany Parish Council will consider spending an additional $166 thousand dollars on the study. Hydrology study would be very critical to know how do we maintain the ecosystem of the canal system and at the same time how do we um, address the flow of the river. Mishu worries what would happen to the Pearl River Canal if the dams were removed. Now there's there's a whole life on that river. You don't have to worry about the the high water in the winter and the low water in the summer. It maintains that. There are permanent camps on that river. He believes there should be a closer look at better signage instead. The only warning of the dam is these two signs on either side of the river. This is what they looked like when Josh and Joe went over the dam. That's the most devastating part of it. And that that's whenever I got angry. Because whenever you see the signs, it was completely covered with vegetation. Williams wonders if clearer signs could have prevented the accident. Joe's body was found in hours. Williams waited days for Josh. We were out there for, for nine days. Mishu sonar technology spotted his body, and after he was recovered, Williams began asking questions. I wanted to put signs out there, and I was told to not move forward with that because of the liability issues. While fighting for better signs, she's also suing the Army Corps of Engineers. I want them to make it safe. Um, they messed up.
period. I don't even know why we're going to court over it because it's blatant. It's clear. Wearing her husband's ashes and wedding band around her neck every day, Williams has made it her mission to make Pools Bluff safer. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.